What's going on you guys, TBR here, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another King of Fighters All-Star video. In today's video, we are going to be doing another installment into our Dear Net Marvel series. This time we're going to be tackling the topic of the change-up system, but more importantly, we're going to be talking about change-up kits, the EX system, and how it pertains to non-limited banner, unified banner fests. So before we get into all of that and more, make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to talk about why I think that this aspect of the system needs to change and give a couple of different reasons as to why. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Cue the intro. Alright you guys, so like I said in the introduction to today's video, we are going to be doing another installment into our Dear Net Marvel series. It has been quite a while since we've done one of these, but I figured that this was a topic that deserved its own Dear Net Marvel video, and the reasons for that I'll outline in today's video. So as we talk about this, and I really want to focus in on one major aspect of the change-up system today, however I will say that in general the change-up system I don't have a ton of problems with, I feel like right now it's kind of in a good spot for the most part that could definitely change down the road but I'm not going to focus on that in today's video instead what I want to do is I want to focus on the one key aspect of it that I don't feel like Netmarble clearly thought out and I feel like there's definitely a major case to be made to change it so I'm gonna go ahead and make that case today so let's go ahead and talk about it so what I want to talk about is of course the non-limited banner versions of these characters and the cost at which it takes to EX them so if you guys didn't already know this I'll use 97 Orochi as an example well, if we go in here and we take a look, it does cost you three boss syndrome memories to go ahead and make a change up kit to use on the non limited banner versions of these characters. Now, yes, that is the exact same cost that it would cost you to EX the limited banner versions. And of course, that seems like highway robbery, and that's because it kind of is. So, when it comes to this new implementation, I don't have a problem with this whatsoever as far as the actual system is concerned. What I do have a problem with is the cost for the non-limited banner characters. And I really do feel like there is a bit of a missed opportunity here that while it isn't necessarily too late to change it or to capitalize or to make good on it, you definitely don't want to going forward continue to build off of what you've shown here. Because I feel like it's a bit nearsighted and if you were to go ahead and allow people to use their regular regular fast memories that they would get for these characters, for these change-up kits, there would be a lot of key benefits to that. So let's go ahead and talk about kind of the broader topic at hand here, which is of course the unified banner and how that relates to this. So when it comes to the unified banner, we all know the unified banner is in a bit of a strange spot, right? Limited banner characters are always going to be better no matter what they do to buff these characters unless they just decide that they're going to go absolutely crazy with said buffs. These characters are never going to be on par or on the same tier as your limited banner characters. And that is not what I'm asking for in this video. What I would say is actually the buffs that were given to characters such as Orochi specifically actually ended up putting him towards the top of the mountain when it comes to the unified banner and I definitely feel like going forward doing these buffs on these unified banner characters such as what they just gave to Rugal and Orochi would be something that everyone would welcome. Now one of the big things that I've heard a lot of people talk about when it comes to the way that they implemented this for these characters is the fact that Netmarble doesn't want us to be able to just get easy EX characters because a lot of veterans out there are going to have a ton of memory stockpiled. And that is probably true. A lot of veterans do. I know as a veteran myself that I do as well. However, this part of the system, in my opinion, needs to not be thought of in terms of veterans, but instead free to plays and more importantly, new players. We are getting into a point now where we are at a very pivotal moment with this game with Street Fighter V. I've already noticed it on my channel. Undoubtedly, a lot of other content creators have noticed it as well. I've noticed it definitely on things like the Reddit, where we're getting a ton of new players that are finding new interest in this game because of the announcement of the Street Fighter V collaboration that are really trying to kind of cut their teeth and start playing the game for the first time, which is a wonderful thing. However, when it comes to implementing this new system, 
kind of after we already knew that we were getting this collaboration, you would think that it would be a good idea to go ahead and implement part of this system, meaning being able to change up these non-limited banner characters. Something would be implemented with this new system that would be more free to play friendly or more new player friendly. So that way that people that played the game for a few weeks, a few months, would be able to partake in the same system foreseeably as long as they had the memories to do so or the want to do so. Unfortunately, as it sits right now, these are the players that are left out in the dust with this, and I really don't necessarily see the reason for that. In fact, I think it should be the opposite. I think right now, this is the big time for this game to start cultivating and trying to keep a lot of new players, to try and start luring them into the game for the long term, and that is something that I think really needs to happen. And I don't think that that necessarily, the change-up system changed that in any negative or positive way. The problem is, is it didn't really do anything to do that, and that's kind of the problem. So I really do think that buffing these characters is definitely the way to go in the future. That was actually something that I thought was one of the more exciting aspects of the new update, because these characters rarely ever get any love, and these were some really strong buffs for both of these characters. However, it was really one of those things where Netmarble kind of took one step forward and two steps back, so to speak, because when they announced this, the way that it was implemented with the change-up system, while it was still cool that they got the buffs, it doesn't necessarily allow for a lot of people to get involved with the change-up system itself. And I really do feel like Netmarble has a lot of different events that they center around these different memories. So for instance, if you think about it, we get roulettes oftentimes where we'll be able to get memories, we get random crafting events, we get memory events all the time. We get all these different memories for all these different characters, including ruby packages that oftentimes will get introduced where they want us to spend rubies on packages that are going to have things such as actual fest characters from the unified banner itself, or memories, and they are going to expect us to spend our actual rubies on those packages, but a lot of times we don't really see the point. So when you have all these different things like events and, you know, these packages and so on that can give these memories, but the problem has always been, well, the memories aren't really something that's a selling point. Having the EX system and the change-up system take into account these types of memories for these characters would only build value into those things. So you might end up selling more of those ruby packages over time for those memories. You might get more excitement for people when it comes to some of these events, whereas normally we would look at it and go, oh, like for instance, recently we had one for Idol Kula. And when it came to that Idol Kula event, nobody really got excited about it because she'd been around forever and there really wasn't anything to use those memories on even if we got them. So it's more so a situation where, for instance, if she were to have an EX ability and you'd be able to EX her and you were to do an event like that, well, all of a sudden that would be a little bit different. So I feel like this is not only a prime opportunity to save the Unified Banner's ability to actually be anywhere sort of relevant in the game. And I'm not saying the Unified Banner, again, is ever going to be as good as Limited Banners. That's not something that's ever going to happen. And that's not something I'm asking for. Instead, what I'm asking for is for Netmarble to give them the chance. Because there are a ton of characters in here that, despite whether you're a new player or a veteran, it doesn't matter where you're at in the game, well, there's a lot of characters in here that a lot of people really like and are very unique. When you look through here and you look at some of the lady fighters and you look at some of the versions of these characters that have still yet to get a limited banner fest, a lot of these characters are characters that if you were to give new life with buffs and a change up variant, then these characters would be in a good spot to where a lot of people would still use them or at least play around with them and enjoy them again, even though they might not be at the top of the meta. And that's something I feel like is definitely important, especially, again, for people just getting into the game. They want to be able to be able to pick up characters that are non-limited banner and be able to get through some of this content. It wouldn't be necessarily the most let's say, sustainable thing in the world to expect all of these new players just to convert into a player that is going to be able to just stack their roster with limited banner characters, because let's face it, that isn't going to happen most of the time. But when it comes to these guys, these unified fests are supposed to make up the bulk of their account going forward the first several months. And that's very, very important. Heck, even longer than that if they're not spending a bunch of money. So in general, 
I feel like there are so many different things that we still get in the game that require or give us memories for these characters that it would make sense going forward to change the system so that that way we can use the actual unified versions of these characters memories to make them EX and to change up kit them and to go ahead and take part in that system for players that aren't necessarily able to do so otherwise because let's face it limited banner memories are going to be at a premium they are very very valuable and they get very expensive so requiring just that many more of them to go ahead and build up characters from the unified banner all that is going to translate to at the end of the day is hurt feelings upset people as well as nobody taking part in changing up those characters because i have a hard time believing that you're going to run into many people out there that are ever going to feel the need to use three bs orochi or three bs omega rugal memories to change up a non-limited banner version of either of these characters. No matter how good Orochi's buffs are, I just don't see somebody investing in that. And that's the problem. You know, it's one of those things where while it does exist and you did do it, what's the point of putting it into the game if nobody's going to utilize it or take advantage of it? And I feel like that that is kind of where that's at. So at the end of the day, while the change-up system, in my opinion, is a very good system, I feel like it still needs work. There's still things that could be changed. And I feel like the biggest thing that should change is they should go ahead and allow us to use unified banner memories for those change-up kits for those non-limited banner characters. So right now that would mean just Orochi and Omega Rugal. But going forward, I want to see more of these characters get buffed and therefore, that would mean that a lot more of these characters might end up being able to use the change-up system. And if that's going to be the case, if they want it to be relevant and they want it to matter at the end of the day, they need to go ahead and make that change. But what say you guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. That's just my opinion. I know a lot of people out there have been talking about this, and I definitely agree with those that think the same way as this. I think that this is something they should definitely take into account, and I think that there's a lot of key benefits. Like I said, we get so many events centered around memories for these characters, and we get so many limited ruby packages where we can go ahead and pick up those different memories for those limited rubies along with stones and so on and so forth, that if they want to build value going forward and keep this relevant whatsoever, that would be the way to do it. But anyway, you guys, that's my opinion. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Continue.